I'm Lauren Stedman and I'm a para-triathlete for Great Britain. And last year, out in Rio, I got a silver medal. Astronauts and athletes both have to keep fit. We have to push limits every single day to make sure that our body is the fittest it can be to complete all of our activities. Astronaut Tim Peake had to exercise two hours a day on the International Space Station. He doesn't quite get to run along the beaches that I do, but he does get to view the whole world. Astronaut Tim Peake took lots of amazing photos from the window of the space station. Scientist Dr Anna Hogg, who also loves her sport, is here to tell us a little bit more about those pictures. Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm a scientist at the University of Leeds. I study the Earth from space using pictures taken by satellites. I'm a glaciologist, and that means I study ice on Earth. When I was in Antarctica, I lived on a glacier for three months, and I had to stay fit and healthy in order to do my job. This is a picture of a glacier taken from a satellite up in space. So glaciers are like rivers because they're moving all of the time, such as water in a river. It's just happening much more slowly. From a single image, it's sometimes quite hard to see how the ice is moving, but if we take lots of images taken from space and animate them, we can suddenly see how the ice is flowing downhill. This glacier is located inland in the Himalayas in a mountainous region, but we also find glaciers located on the coastline. When ice flows from a glacier into the ocean, it can break off, forming icebergs. We've recently seen one of the biggest icebergs ever break off. It was over 200 kilometres long, which is about the size of 2,000 football fields. These icebergs are ginormous and the astronaut Tim Peake was able to take a photograph of one on his camera. Take your fitness to a new height. We challenge you to either swim, bike or run the distance to the satellite. Which is 717 kilometres above the Earth's surface. By flying this high, the satellite can monitor sea ice and glaciers all around the world.